guava is my art alter ego which is my art name you know and i use it for branding also because my company is called guava the art meaning um you know it's a lifestyle brand so you know we not just only do clothes we do artwork for for your house for personal uses we design logos um we build um concept art um, figures so if you had an idea for something you want to create like a you know a toy or you know a structure you know we can make it you know what i mean we as in me and my wife because my wife is a, is a part of the company too. She does um, the embroidery side of the business. So, yeah. Aims to say that it speaks for itself. I can't really, um, I try to explain it a lot of times, you know, but my artwork is so random. It really takes on a form or life of itself, you know, after I create it. Because the ideas come to me from the universe. You know what I mean? I just like, I just like to say that because it does. And then, after that, after I bring it out of my mind, and it's you know it's in the, uh, the public, then it starts to take on its own its own um, life, you know. So it basically speaks for itself. Um, for the most part, um, I would say from an international standpoint, they view it as something good, you know, something beautiful. But then from a local standpoint, I only get the the, the, the millennials right now, you know. And the, the non millennials like the Generation X, uh, a few of them, but then most the majority of people in NT don't really seem to catch on to you know I mean, my art. So I would say, um, generally speaking, it um, it it gets a good a good um, feedback from the international community. Teeth is my character, my main mascot. He is the represent the representation of me in a sense but in a more characteristic form because I'm a type of person who don't, doesn't really judge people on what they look like but more so their character so I create this character with that same message hence the reason why um, I wrapped him in bandages to you know to block himself from the world because in you know, the world he sees the world and like a lot of pain in the world so he tries to like block his body from the world and his eyes too covers his eyes but he doesn't want to see uh, the pain because there's a lot of dark sick shit in the world you know and the heart if you notice on the outside of his body he has the heart on the outside of his chest where he uses his heart to see people for who they really are yeah so that's basically teeth in a nutshell I mean, I have so many they all have their own in individual memory towards, towards them I guess it will be like the the one that I am um, is one of my favorites that I still have today that I kept and it's called um, Hard Target and it's painting over um like a a vulture a turkey vulture you know I mean wearing um, a, 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 a steel helmet like a, a combat helmet and in the background of the of the um the, the vulture there is a a wall and behind the wall is a bunch of bullet holes you know where they keep trying to get him but they can't hit him because he's a hard target you know in a sense i kind of did that painting because you know for, from the time i started i'm um, doing this whole art thing i always thought of myself as that hard target you know what i mean like people try to hold me back or try to stop me up keep me down but um no matter what they do they just can't pin me down you know in that in that sense like the the, the, the behind the hustle and the um the drive because believe me I've been um, in situations where I've um, been told that oh I shouldn't do this and oh I should focus on other things and you can't make any, any, any living from it and all that stuff but I just totally ignored all that all that noise and kept it moving so hard target which is a painting of a, a vulture that I have and I've kept and I will never ever sell that piece that's one piece I'm gonna have I'm gonna keep forever Walt Disney is one of my, my big inspirations. Um, cartoons especially uh, influenced me because as a child I used to draw a lot of cartoons. But um, why I say Walt Disney as well as a person because of what he created. You know, even though they say, you know, the man has like um, you know, a bad past in terms of him being uh, anti-Semite and whatnot. 
I, I do look past that because of what he built. The man built a whole empire. You know, Disney today is like a force to be reckoned with. You know, and I started with the dream of one man. So I always thought to myself that if um, if this man can do that, right, and build this whole empire and make something that's uh, that that left a legacy behind for him and his family and for the world to to, to grow from, because this is, isn't just um, you know. Animation studio, like they they've created, they've innovated, they've invented things. You know what I mean, they're an innovation company too. That's why they have a team of imagineers. So I say, well, this is my biggest inspiration as a human. One of um, Kanye West, because him too, like he's one of the person that says um, if he's gonna do something, he's gonna do it and he's gonna he's gonna accomplish it. And I've watched that man like from the time he used to be just a rapper and a producer to know the man is owner of his own clothing line, you know what I mean, in partnership with Adidas, you know, he's a multi-billionaire, I mean, not that money is a big deal or anything, but it shows success, you know, so those two, and then the biggest person I would say in, in terms of inspiration would be my mother, because um, she was the first person I ever saw draw anything in front of my face, like live, she drew a little elephant for me, this was when I was like, before I started um, preschool, when I was just being babysat by my grandma and ever since I saw that I was excited and I wanted to draw more but you know she was she was working and she never could always do these things because you know she has to work so then I picked up the pen and the pencil and started drawing myself after I saw what my mom did you know so it'll be those three people you know Disney, Kanye and my mom So it's extremely hot and um, we need to watch ourselves, you know, because global warming is real. But uh, yeah, you can find me in Red Cliff Key, in my little store, opposite Fred's Ice Cream, right next to Footnotes. And uh, my Instagram is at Guava Day Art. And that's not D, it's not T-H-E, it's D-E, so Guava Day Art.